The topic of today's discussion is about the motion sickness. A very simple and interesting topic when you guys are moving somewhere uh, while using bus, uh, motor car, whatsoever is the mean of transport that you are using. So some of us, they experience uh, a kind of vomiting. They vomit during this particular journey. Now what is the reason behind this movement, this kind of vomiting is actually called as motion sickness. Why? Because this is because of the motion. When you are rapidly changing your direction, what happens in this scenario, there is a kind of a signal being generated and that actually stimulates your vestibular labyrinth, which is actually the portion of the ear. Now, let me draw this ear this way. So what happens? this particular uh, signal is given to the inner structure of the ear that inner structure is called as a vestibular labyrinth a kind of signal is generated that is given to the vestibular labyrinth that is actually then stimulating the vestibular nuclei which is in the brain so from the ear what is happening a message is given to the vestibular labyrinth which is the portion of the brain and there within the brain we have the portion that is of the hind brain known as cerebellum which is responsible to maintain the equilibrium now what is happening you are in rapid movement so in some guys uh, this cerebellum does not get the proper uh, signals it is a kind of disbalanced so because of this disbalancement, what happens? Signal is given to this cerebellum, and then this cerebellum gives the signal to the CTZ, chemoreceptor trigger zone, not chemoreceptive, okay? It is chemoreceptor trigger zone. This chemoreceptor trigger zone is actually this particular portion of the brain, which is actually available on the fourth ventricle of the uh, brain. So we have four ventricles, one, two, three, four, lateral ventricles, third and fourth ventricle. In the fourth ventricle, on the floor of this fourth ventricle, we have these receptors. They are responsible to receive the signal from the cerebellum and some other areas of the body. So then this signal is actually then forwarded to the vomiting center, which is a little bit down uh, located so here we have multiple several nuclei these nuclei all together are actually called as what vomiting center so what is what is happening here by simple because of rapidly uh, changing directions when you are moving so rapid or directions that is are actually changing uh, in a very rapid way uh, so this actually stimulates your internal ear structure known as vestibular labyrinth from here a signal is given to the vestibular nuclei uh, that is actually then giving signal further to the cerebellum which is uh, then sensing the signal and then that signal is forwarded to the ctz these series are actually the chemoreceptor trigger zones. Uh, zone, the, this zone, when it is simulated, this is then responsible to give signal to the vomiting center that please vomit whatsoever is present in the body. Like this, when the vomiting center is stimulated, this vomiting center will generate a signal of for the emesis or for the vomiting. What will happen? The signal via efferent neurons, like uh, from the cranial nerves, uh, nerve number 7, 9th, 5th, 10th, 12th, all these will give signal to the uh, upper GT tract and vagal nerve, sympathetic nerve, they will give the nerve signals to the lower GT tract, lower GT tract, and spinal nerve will give signal to the diaphragm and abdominal muscle. So what is happening here by abdominal muscles and diaphragm is helping the, the GT tract to push the uh, food content upward so I guess the food will then start moving from the uh, lower GT tract to the upper portion and slowly gradually the food will move up and like this the food uh, will be a kind of thrown out from the body so you can say or we can say short emesis will happen so this is how vomiting is happening happening because of the motion sickness let's have a short glance here by that is due to motion when you are in motion you are rapidly changing your direction this rapid change in direction stimulates the vestibular labyrinth the structure in the inner ear that is then stimulating the vestibular nuclei which are actually responsible to forward signal to the cerebellum and then that is actually responsible to give signal to the ctz chemoreceptor trigger zone and they're responsible to give the signal to the vomiting center and the vomiting center is responsible to uh, generate the signal via motor neurons then that signal will be forwarded towards the upper and lower GIG track and abdominal muscles and uh, diaphragm. 
remember, the signals will be followed via cranial nerves, via uh, the sympathetic nerves, via vagal nerve, via spinal nerve. So all these are responsible to, get to give signals to our GT tract in order to accomplish the emesis or vomiting. So like this vomiting is happening due to motion. I hope you got it. Still you have confusion anywhere. Feel free to ask us in the comment box and thank you for watching.